robber YouTube robber YouTube user big on you okay here's my issue and what I've been having a ton of problems with this here my unify enterprise three pack system it would they will soon as I try to adopt them it say isolated it will go to the heartbeat miss but it'll stay isolated and that would be it I couldn't get it to adopt no matter what I do you know and this is how you took this is how you adopt it so you go to configuration and I'm just gonna adopt it um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm sorry, not not adopted, but um, um actually um, uplink it wirelessly. So this one here is the the 80. So as you can see, the firmware the 80. So what um what I had to do you um. You just basically click which one you want to connect it to, which I'm going to connect it to the base station. And basically what that does is I'm connecting that to that station wirelessly. And once I connect that to that station wirelessly, each station can have four of these connected wirelessly. So I'm going to connect it to that. Connecting this, this one here to that wirelessly and this one can control four and this one here can control four of these and this one here can control four of them so and so forth and so on so um the problem was it would go into isolated mode and it would not go out no matter what and the firmware I had was the um this is what it shipped with 2.3.6.5 1595 and I was on a ton of forums and I do mean a ton of unify forums I mean just I was at this for days trust me when I tell you days and days and days having problems and problems and so what I finally did was I just hard reset the device which basically just a little pinhole and I took a paper clip as you can see my trust in handy dandy paper clip and I reset it it's right up underneath here it's just a little pinhole and you just hold it in there for about 12 seconds and it's gonna um, it's gonna reset them and that's what I did I hard reset it everything I reset I set up my network and um, I, I, I uninstalled my controller on my laptop and then I reinstalled the controller and um, just set everything up from scratch I put my network on as you see on um, 192.168.1.26 it's the same I put it on the same as the ubiquitous controller which is the 1.20 that's to get into any of the ubiquity de devices and but it just it would not adopt wirelessly it just do what it is doing there it would be isolated and as you can see I've already got one connected wirelessly and what I had to do was I'll show you guys here once you get everything reinstalled click down here on your, on your admin page I had this selected to automatically upgrade firmware I left that unchecked for some strange reason it would not do it and so um, from there as you can see right here I'm going to and I'm going to upgrade that firmware there. So I'm just going to click right there and upgrade. And it's going to show upgrade as you can see right there and there. And all of them I had. I even had the firmware written down 2.3.6.1595 and now this is the one that I went to the 2.4.1.2004 this has been driving me absolutely insane but once I upgraded the firmware then I could easily go ahead and after it misses heartbeat 
it goes into isolated mode and then I could hit I could go ahead and hit um, from there I could go ahead and hit click on wireless uplink and click select it gives me this warning here topology has changed hit OK and then it finally will after about it does take five minutes I mean literally sometimes five minutes so um and I, I adjust that to 15 seconds but it does take literally up to five minutes so do be patient they say that on the um, website and things of that nature and they are not joking it does take up to five minutes I can't stress that so um, but be patient and it will eventually adopt, adopt wirelessly with the latest firmware like this one here did and as you see I I, I, I mean I took this one to, to scratch by um, even writing the firmware down labeling each access point just the basics I mean I, I did this down to the basics because I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing a step make sure I wasn't doing something wrong I'm usually pretty decent with installing things and networking equipment and things but I was ready to give up and just run them um, with some um, weatherproof Ethernet cable and um, a ton of people was having problems and this is the fix as you can see so um, hopefully this help you guys out because it has helped me out and as you can see it is just the power over the ethernet plugged in nothing else and the latest firmware in there and have two of them connected wirelessly and as you can see the, that one's upgraded to the latest firmware already and it's getting ready to connect back to the network then I'm going to disconnect it and do the same thing to that one. Um, connect it wirelessly. So upgrade the firmware is all I can tell you. Um, reinstall everything. Default everything back. Go right there is your pinhole that you're looking for. Right there. It says reset. Just, just hold that for about 12-15 seconds. And you'll know when everything's working because you have that solid green light and it'll be solid green for about it about at least 10 15 seconds without a blink. So like right now it would have blinked if it wasn't adopted. If everything wasn't adopted and working, it would have blinked by now. So one one wireless adapter, you need one device, one unified device to be wired, and then the other ones can be wireless. But one has to be one has to be wired and that's something that um, wasn't quite clear but one has to be wired and so when you're when you're looking to buy that remember you might remember you're gonna need to buy at least two devices to to utilize the the wireless and um, again just go ahead and unplug the network once it's connected once you have it connected to the um to your network just go ahead and unplug it and it's gonna go after about three minutes three to five minutes like I said it does take that long that's the one I just updated right there it does take that freaking long believe it or not um, It goes miss that heartbeat. Once it missed that freaking heartbeat, you go in there and you select which one you wanted to uplink. Well, you have to adopt it. Then you um, and you you could uh, um. Oh, sorry, I'm losing myself here. So you go right here. Nope. Where is it at? So once it disconnects, you're gonna see that tab for um, 
wireless uplinks or uplinks and that's that's what you're gonna select for um to connect that's what you're gonna use to connect the actual adapters to like I showed you prior you're gonna actual that's how you're gonna use um, you're gonna just select that and it's just like in this these here So there we go. Heartbeat missed. Okay. And then you see the tab. Wireless uplink. See how that just came. And now I can connect this up to. I got them all on channel 11. Also. So you could just go in here and config. And um, I'm sorry in radios. And select channel. It's on auto. I'm going to go ahead and move it to channel I'm going to move it to channel 11 so I'm going to move this one up HT40 make this high power also because I want to um, make that one and so then you're going to go to you're going to get the wireless uplink tab you might have to click find more like I'm about to do right now And then it just found the base station. Hit select. Hit OK. After it going into isolation mode, you're supposed to do all that. And then it will connect. And you'll, you'll see where it says connect, connected on um, wireless. Once it goes into isolation mode, you do what I just showed you, and it will connect wirelessly. I just jumped the gun just to show you guys how to do it but as you see already I have two of the three are already connected wirelessly so this does work that's and that's the process we're doing it sorry for having the camera a little shaky but it is 12 30 something at night on a one in the morning and I've been at this oh my lord days and days to two three in the morning just about every day just about every day so um but that's how you do it um let me see here I'm, so it's isolated and then you just go ahead and you select and that's once it's isolated you do it and then it will connect it'll take up to five minutes to do that but it will connect and you'll be good to go so sorry for the long drawn out explanation of everything but this was kind of a, a issue to say the least um for those of you who bought the box and didn't have much of a problem, lucky you. But for me and a ton of people in the forums who have firmware issues, and obviously there are a lot of people who have firmware issues. If you do some Googling and some research, there are a ton of people. They actually begging for help. Um, this is for us and for the people who are up at 1 a.m. and 3 a.m scratching their head and losing their head trying to figure this out Robert YouTube user big on you thanks for watching please like or subscribe and um, I'll try to keep these videos coming